I don't see any problems with today's meeting with Panasia Properties. We've got a pretty good relationship with them, and I'm confident. That's great, but we do need to negotiate for specific matters, and they are the length of the tenancy our company wants, um, the rents we can afford, the opening hours of our food plaza, and the types of tenants we want. Have you done any preparation and thought about how we can negotiate with Pan Asia? Well, not much. You see, I don't know exactly what they'll say, but I have some figures at hand, and I think that's enough. Don't worry. Yes, I have those figures as well, but I don't think that's good enough. I've also thought about our objectives, what we must get, our bottom line, what concessions we can afford to make, um, our anticipation, what Pan Asia will accept and what they won't. A language and rapport. I mean, the language we should use and how we maintain a good relationship with Pan Asia. Well, yeah, yeah. Let's be flexible anyway, and I guarantee no problem for sure. Fingers crossed. Oh, hi, Jeff. Hi. So, hopefully, we can get a good deal today. And a reliable company will set up business in our premises. Three companies are interested in the second floor of our Sea Breeze complex in Sai Kung. This afternoon, we're meeting Blandon. Now, we've done some business with them before. A pretty happy experience, as I recall. We're meeting their representatives, uh, Ella and Luke, this afternoon. I hope they'll be cooperative enough. I mean, ideally, by accepting all our terms. As the finance manager, I particularly hope Landon will accept our rent and the length of tenancy. Um, as you can see, these are the figures and this is really our bottom line. Yes, and uh, besides rent and tenancy length, I hope they'll also accept our suggested opening hours for the food plaza and the types of tenants that we expect. Anyway, I'm willing to offer them a bit of flexibility and everything could be negotiable depending on how it goes. Well, I'm starving. Uh, let's grab something for lunch and see what happens this afternoon. Uh, Jan, see you at two here? All right, see you, see you then. Hello, I'm John, the business development manager of Panasia. How do you do? Uh, you must be Ella. Yes, nice to meet you both. And you're Luke. Hello, everybody. This is my colleague Jan, the finance manager. I've especially invited her to join us today to give us some advice. Hello, welcome to Panasia Properties. Have a seat. Uh, we're looking at our sea breeze complex at Sai Kung, and the whole second floor is now available for lease. We know your company would like to rent this floor to set up a food plaza. I think that's a great idea. In today's meeting, we'd like to discuss four areas, and if we can agree on those areas, you, Landon, will likely get the contract. Well, the four areas are the length of tenancy, the rent, the opening hours, and the types of tenants. I'm sure we can come to a satisfactory arrangement, something that would be mutually beneficial. I hope so too. Okay, about the length of tenancy. I think initially we would like to say three years because... I'm afraid we would find it extremely difficult to make an operating profit in such a short period of time. So, what exactly are you saying? How many years would be enough? Would there be any possibility of having a five-year contract instead? We would be very pleased if that could be done. Plus, we think this would also be good for your company as well because... You have a good point there. Sounds reasonable. Jan, I think we can agree uh, to five years, don't you? Yes. How about the rent? What we would expect is... Uh, 
Okay, I get your point. But having said that, um, to ensure a win-win situation, I was wondering if it would be possible to... It's extremely difficult for us to come down on the price, but I can understand the reasons behind your proposal and some of your points appeal to me. I hope you won't mind giving us a couple of days to seriously consider this. No problems at all, and thank you very much for considering our proposals. All right, Luke. You've been pretty quiet so far, but I suppose you must have something to say about the opening hours and the types of tenants. Well, yes I do. The opening hours of the shops in the foot plaza must be from 7am to 11pm because... Why must be? Come on, how can you say that? I want all the tenants to be... And I want And I want You want this, you want that You sound like a spoiled child I think you've got it wrong there I don't see why we can't do that Oh dear, mind your language Sorry, uh, actually my colleague means... And about the types of tenants, it'd be very stupid to... But I don't think you're very smart either. And we do not like... And we cannot accept... So there's nothing to negotiate. Do you expect us to just give you what you want? I don't agree. I don't see the value of that idea. Oh dear! Stop it! You're nuts! That's impossible! Impossible? Well, I'm afraid we'll need some time to reconsider the contract. What? Yes, we need more time to consider what you've said, Luke, and think about whether or not we want to sign a contract with you. Thanks a lot for your time. We hope to hear some good news from you soon. Very strange. It's been a week. But we still haven't heard from Panasia. I really did my very best. Don't you think? Why haven't they got back to us? An idea, Ella? Well, what do you expect? That attitude of yours. Yes, you did do your best. Making big claims about what you wanted, what you thought, what you would accept or not. To be honest, I don't think you did enough preparation. You hadn't thought about our bottom line in the negotiation. You hadn't anticipated what Pan Asia would accept or what they wouldn't. Didn't you think about the kind of language you should have used when we met with John and Jane? Didn't you see the expressions on their faces? Telling them they were wrong and stupid. You didn't care about politeness at all, did you? Very obviously, it's been a total failure this time. Can't you see? Was that really that bad? Well, still half an hour before two. Better we'll take a nap first. The opening hours of the shops in the food plaza must be from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. because... We really hope that the opening hours can be from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. because of... I want all the tenants to be... I want... I want... 
we would like all the tenants to be and may I also stress that and it would be marvelous if we could have I think you got it wrong there I don't see why we can't do that Perhaps I might be wrong but it would be quite feasible for us to And about the types of tenants it would be very stupid to And about the types of tenants I think it might be better if we could also consider We do not like And we cannot accept Sorry, we have some reservations about I don't agree! I don't see the value of that idea! I'm afraid I can't say I'm happy about the idea of That's impossible! I really have difficulty in seeing how this could work You must be very stupid! I don't think you'll be a good negotiator. That's impossible. I want you to fail at all times. I want you to fail. 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 I want you to fail.